Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about date slicers. So let's check how to use them in Looker Studio. Let's go to add a control. Then we have this date range control option. Let's click on that one. I'm gonna place my slider here and then I'm gonna click on that slider. That way I will be able to choose some values. As you can see, first one is start date and the second one is end date. Now let's see what options we have. If you click on this option here, we will be able to see more options. Let's start from the top. First we have fixed and then we have some interesting options. If we choose this option, we will be able to select only values that are dedicated to previous seven days. If I click on this one, basically I will be able to see only values for previous seven days. Let's click on apply and now let's check other options. We also have, for example, last 30 days. Basically it's previous month. So if I click on apply, I will be able to see values for previous month. As you can see, we have a lot of different options. We have also today. Let's click on today. And we already have some values for today. That is great. We also have this month option, month to date, last month and so on. Also, this option could be interesting. Let's click on last year. And basically we will be able to see values for previously year. As you can see, these are values dedicated to previous year. That is great. Now, instead of this setup, let's click on this style. Basically here, we are able to make some changes. Let's click on this yellow and basically that way we will be able to change color of this slider, basically text of that slider. Also, we can change header, label. Let's click on this one. And of course we have this background and border section and basically we are able to change our slicer. Let me use this red color and basically this is our slicer now. We can also choose some different values. And basically this is how you can use this date range slicer. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.